broke. If you don't want to be offended, don't watch it. Woke. Cancel comedians who tell offensive jokes. Bespoke. Arrest people who laugh at offensive jokes. And that's not even a meme. An SNP councillor has literally called for people who find offensive jokes funny to be prosecuted. Well, that slippery slope turned into a 200 foot high water slide in a hurry, didn't it? What was this in response to? Comedian Jimmy Carr telling a spicy gag about gypsies in the Holocaust. The entirely predictable, brain dead response to all this was as if Jimmy Carr had carried out the Holocaust not simply told a joke about it. Jimmy Carr's joke that a positive of the Holocaust was the slaughter of 500,000 Gypsy, Roma and Sinisi people is disgusting beyond words. Fucking racist genocide has no place in comedy or a decent society. I call on Netflix to remove this grotesque material. Jimmy Carr's joke, like all Holocaust jokes, is completely dependent on the acceptance that the Holocaust was a horrendous atrocity. That's what makes the joke work. What also makes jokes in general what they are, jokes is the fact that the comedian telling them isn't being serious, he's telling a frigging joke. And you know what? If you don't agree with any of that, and you're still offended, you know what option is left open to you? Don't fucking watch it! Oh great, another opportunity for some middle-class metropolitan pants pisser to score a dopamine hit on Twitter by proving once again what a good person they are. I'm offended on their behalf. Oh, piss off. Culture Secretary Nadine Dorries said Carr's comments were, quote, abhorrent and they just shouldn't be on television. But they weren't comments. Carr wasn't endorsing genocide. It was a joke. She then seized upon the controversy to grease the skids for yet more laws restricting, you guessed it, free speech. Nadine Dorries, of course, being the same woman who in 2017 complained of, quote, left-wing snowflakes killing comedy. It's okay when we do it. Of course, when Jimmy Carr vilified another minority group, in the same show, The Unvaccinated, he was applauded. But the establishment says they're bad people. So punching down against that minority group is perfectly permissible. Now the head of Ofcom is exploiting the hysteria in an attempt to expand its censorship tentacles to cover Netflix. And as per usual, the timing here is a little more than coincidental. Not only are they trying to create an environment to ram through this media bill to control Netflix, and any similar platform that comes after Netflix. They're also pushing an onerous online safety bill that would outlaw speech that causes, quote, emotional harm to a perceived victim. Another vague catch-all term completely open to abuse. Given that enunciating biological facts about sex and gender is now considered hateful. As ever, we see the same cycle repeated over and over again. Feign outrage, milk it for power and control. Feign outrage, milk it for power and control. Feign outrage, milk it for power and control. Strange that, isn't it? The solution to people being offended is always to hand over more power and control to those who claim they were offended. The feigned outrage is merely a useful conduit for what they wanted all along. Power and control. To get exclusive content, early access, behind the scenes stuff, and to personally interact with me, please sign up for my community at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Link in description, and thank you for your generous support.